What's up everybody? I'm super excited about today's review because I'm gonna be using something I never had before. And that is a compact ax and shovel survival kit that can easily fit into your bag. Stay tuned. Just wanted to take a moment to greet everyone i hope you're having a great weekend thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch these videos i appreciate your likes comments and all the rest if you're a new visitor i would like to welcome you as well to 411 outdoors now let's take a look at this thing as you can see it's very compact this is from a company called hit to do and this is inclusive of a lot of things and i'm not going to break out the contents of this until i get down to my site where i'm going to be working i will tell you that there's several items in here that will come in very handy if you're out backpacking or out camping or just out surviving. But uh, this is really neat and the best of all, it fits right down into your pack. So I'm gonna load mine up. I'm gonna take a trip down into the woods and tinker around with this. All right, I'm gonna be heading down to one of my favorite day camps. I discovered this spot a few years ago when I was out walking through the woods back here. It was during the winter. And I was like, man, how have I lived here for so long and not known this was back here? It's just a great place to hang out. This product is a mail call. I did not purchase this. I'm just doing kind of a product test review on it. When I first got into the channel, people started saying, you know, you're gonna start getting products soon, man. People are gonna want you to test their products. And uh, that's actually starting to happen. I've got several companies now who are sending me products on a regular basis. And that, that part is really fun. It's really fun doing mail calls, starting to get a lot of stuff. I've got some more reviews even to do this week. That embankment you see over there is where I'm headed. All right, let's break this thing out and see what we got. All right, here we go. I'm seeing the, the shovel head here. Yeah, saw, sharp blade here. Very nice. Got our extensions and a little knife that's fallen out that can go on the end. Very cool. There's an ax head here. Razor sharp. It's gonna have a nice cutting edge on it. Look at that. This package sells on Amazon for 45 bucks right now. I'll give you guys and gals a link. First thing I'm gonna do is put together the shovel and dig me a little hole. Looks like you have to tighten the shovel on this, which I did not bring the tools wherewith to do that, but I'm just gonna hold the shovel still and dig with it like this today in the meantime. But if you get one of these, you'll need to have a way to, to tighten this up because you have to be able to loosen it and tighten it so you can fold it back up and put it in the pack. I'm just digging me a little hole here because I'm just gonna do a little ferro rod. I ain't gonna start a big fire or anything like that. I'm just gonna mess around a little bit. Nice little shovel. Again, I want to emphasize this saw, which has got a nice blade. And also, you've got a chopping mechanism there as well. It's real sharp. All right, let's put the ax to work. And take this top shovel part off here and just unscrew that. And screw on the... Man, this is really cool. Real cool. That makes a heck of an ax in and of itself. I mean, look at that as a tomahawk. A long tomahawk but man that's super bad one thing i don't want to fail to mention as well is it also has a hammer not just an axe but a hammer so that is really awesome take us a take us a limb here i was able to take that down with minimal effort this is very sharp it chops really well you get good leverage, it's got a good long handle to take down that limb because it was kind of blocking my pathway here to my campsite, so it worked out well. I also wanted to point out the knife has a little bottle opener on it here and it also has a saw. You can unscrew the bottom of this. You've got screwdriver, flathead, Phillips and flat. And you have a little ferring rod here striking that flame i'm gonna do a little batoning and feather sticking here and we'll use the hammer and we'll use my recon tanto here uh, only because i hope you have more knife with you <laughs> than that little knife that came with it
One of the challenges that I'm facing is it has been so wet here. It's been, we've been getting so much rain, but trying to get into the middle of the stick where I can get to dry as little pieces as possible. We'll see what we can do. All right, let's get the party started, my friends. Just a couple of things. I did not start that fire as fast as what you saw in the video. I would love to tell you that I did, but I didn't. The pieces that I cut from the feather sticking were still a little bit wet, making it very difficult to just ferro rod that. So what I started doing was grabbing at some of the driest leaves I could find and grabbing at some of this nearby brush. If you can get that to light, you can then start adding these feather sticking pieces, slightly damp, but not too bad. Once the fire is started, you can burn these, but it's just hard to start a fire with these. All right, gang, that's a wrap. I really enjoyed testing this. A lot of fun, and I love how compact this is. It just slips right down in my bag, and uh, very easy to carry around and very handy could do just about anything with it. So I hope you found this entertaining and useful. Again, the link will be in the description if you wanna pick one up. There's a lot of different brands out there, but I think this one's priced very, very well for what it is. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.